Hey everyone, have a super close up shot of Henry. Um, I hope you can't hear the background noise. I've got a little bit of a heating thing, a heater, a little space heater thing going. Um, anyway, I'm sick. I have COVID, it turns out. I've always been a Novid. I've never had COVID, so this is my first time having it. So prayers appreciated. That's why I didn't post yesterday, but I'm just going to do a short psalm today. Is that good, Gus? Uh, Henry? Not Guster, you're Henry. Henry? Okay, we'll read Psalm 92. Sorry, I sound terrible. <laughs> it is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night to the music of the ten-stringed lyre and the melody of the harp. For you make me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. How great are your works, Lord. How profound your thoughts. Senseless people do not know. Fools do not understand. That though the wicked spring up like grass and all evildoers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are forever exalted. For surely your enemies, Lord, surely your enemies will perish. All evildoers will be scattered. You have exalted my horn like that of a wild ox. Fine oils have been poured on me. My eyes have seen the defeat of my adversaries. My ears have heard the root of my wicked foes. The rout of my wicked foes. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will still they will stay fresh and green, proclaiming. The Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. Oh, that's good. I really, I've always loved the um, last part of that uh, psalm. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming, The Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. I, I really have always loved that. And especially now as I get older, I like it even more. It's something to hold on to. Um, actually, in this this the last part of verse 15 really strikes me. And there's no wickedness in him. <laughs> That's something I've actually been thinking about in some ways, how grateful I am that God is good and there isn't any wickedness in him. You know, that he's completely light, good. He is love. You know, he's goodness. There is nothing evil in him. It's very comforting, especially when you just, when the world so often feels dark sometimes. Um, the other thing I was thinking about is, uh, where was it? Do, do, do. Oh, my eyes have seen the defeat of my adversaries. I think about that verse, but I think of it in terms of my inner adversaries because I feel like I have my own inner adversaries um, like fear and anxiety and I don't know, all that, which I, I need that to be defeated. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of, when I got sick, this most recent uh, with, you know, COVID, I kind of freaked out because I've never had it. Um, 
but I do feel better today. So, um, that's a blessing. Uh, but when I share my testimony, when we get to the book of Ezekiel, you'll know, you'll know my backstory a little bit more about why I might have anxiety. Um, but yeah, that's, that's an inner adversary that I want defeated. But anyway, well, I'm going to keep this short since I sound like, almost like Darth Vader. Uh, maybe not that bad. Okay, well, let's pray. Henry, show your beautiful eyes. Look at those eyes. They're so beautiful. They're like jewels. Look at you. What a beautiful honey. That's my kitty voice. Oh, I love that he's just, his eyes, I think cat eyes are so pretty. They really are like jewels, like jewels. Okay, well, let's pray. Lord, um, come before you confessing all my anxiety and inner adversaries. Pray that you defeat them and help me to trust you because I do I feel like I'm not far removed from the Israelites of old who were <laughs> I don't know they seem to lack a bit of faith sometimes but I believe in you I just get nervous um, so pray for your peace I pray for um just for everyone who listens, Lord, that you give them peace, that you surround them with your love and your comfort and your joy this season as we contemplate the birth of Jesus and the amazing entrance into the world of the Son of God, <laughs> our Savior. And just there's so much to learn, you know. I'm I'm still learning. Excuse me, I just sniffled. But um, anyway, let's wrap this up. Thank you, Lord. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Israel. And pray for uh, the Palestinian Christians, that you set them in a safe place. Pray for healing in the land of Israel and healing for your people in Gaza. And pray for you to return maranatha come quickly that's my prayer pray these things in Jesus' name amen everyone amen let's see if henry opens his eyes henry show us your beautiful eyes oh look at that they're like jewels henry <laughs> i love when he gives one wink what a pretty kitty good boy Okay, I'll spare you my kitty talk, my sweet kitty talk. Okay, sorry, I keep sniffling. Okay, we'll end it now. Bye, everybody. Bye.